Welcome back guys to my second episode. I'm glad you guys were able to make it. Thank you so much if you guys have already been liking and subscribing. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys something very important that any Mavic user should know how to do. And the reason why is because if you're gonna be updating your firmware via the phone, you might come across some issues that might prevent you from flying, extend the ranges, or you're just gonna have a lot of signal issues, okay? So what's gonna happen is, when you do it through the app on your phone, sometimes it'll go through perfectly and sometimes it won't. So if you notice that your drone is flying away or giving you a lot of issues, this is a quick remedy to fix those issues. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, so here is the first thing we're gonna be doing today. First thing you guys need to do is go to the DJI website. Once you guys are in the DJI website, you are gonna go to the top left hand corner where it says consumer, and then you're gonna look for your drone. In my case, it's the Mavic Air. So I'm gonna click right here. Once the page loads up, you will go ahead and on the right, top right corner, hit where it says download. That will pull up um, all the available software to download. The one that you're gonna be looking for is a DJI Assistant 2 version 1.2.4. Whether you have a Windows computer or Mac, you have the option of both. So in my case, I have a Mac, so I would just go ahead and hit DMG download. And then we're gonna go ahead and just download it. So for my sake, I already have it. Um, I have no need to really download it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it just so you guys can see what it does. And once it finishes downloading, you guys will go ahead, open the file. Uh, I think, I believe it comes in a zip file, so you're just gonna extract it. Once you extract the file, you're gonna go ahead and install it in your choice, somewhere in your computer. Make sure it's somewhere where you're gonna be able to find it. I have it installed, so I'm gonna go to my launch pad, and it's gonna be the Assistant app. Now, once it opens up, just hit allow for allowing incoming connections. Now go ahead and turn on your either remote or your Mavic. Once you have it turned on, go ahead and plug it into your computer. And yes, you do have to have your Mavic turned on in order for the DJ assistant to read it. Now, once you plug it in, it's fairly simple. It's nothing out of this world. This, like I said before, it's something that you guys are going to want to do if you are having issues with your drone. If you guys are having connectivity issues or you feel like there's just something wrong with your drone, this is a quick way that you guys can fix some issues. Um, you can also update your firmware through here more securely and you can also downgrade your firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and right here is my remote control for the Mavic Air. So I'm going to click on it. Once it opens up, it'll go ahead and tell me which is the version that I'm currently on. I don't have no reason to update right now. Um, I can downgrade if I wanted to, if I feel like this version was giving me issues, or I can hit refresh. Refresh will go ahead and reinstall the software, brand new again, onto your remote. And then usually that'll go, go ahead and fix a lot of issues. You also have the restore factory defaults, which it'll just do a factory data reset on your device. And that can also fix a lot of issues if you're encountering any. So once you hit refresh, remember, this will go ahead and just do a fresh install. Um, your your Mavic or your remote will turn on and turn off a couple of times while you're doing this. So that is normal. If you go to tools on the left hand side, you will see the export log. Honestly, I don't know what that does, but once you go to the main page, you'll also have your settings. Uh, log in if you guys want to log into your DJI account. And if you want to change the language. Other than that, this application is very straightforward. It's not too difficult to use. I'm glad they made it very easy for us DJI users. So now I'm gonna click on my Mavic Air. It's gonna load it up. And you will see that I am currently on the latest version as well. Now, a couple of days ago, I did refresh it because I was having signal issues and it did improve it. I don't know what it could have been, but it did improve it. So you're gonna have a couple of options on your left. You have your log export, calibration, and your simulator. These are all stuff that you can take advantage of. Calibration is really good as well if you're having any issues. Um, the simulator, never tried it, but I hear it's, I mean, if you wanna practice in a 3D simulated world, that's what it does. So the refresh right here will go ahead and reinstall the software onto your Mavic Air. That is what you wanna do if you're experiencing any issues. Keep in mind, you do need to have a battery that's fully charged. 
and you have to have it plugged in at all times while it's doing the update so now that you guys saw it it's pretty simple right so now that you guys know how to update your firmware on your Mavic Air, I want to go ahead and take the time to thank every single one of you for watching my show. It means a lot to me. Honestly, I just started on YouTube, so I'm going to try to keep it fresh and updated every single week for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them below. Or if you guys have any comments or anything that you'd like to see in the future as well, just put it down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys give me a thumbs up and if you guys subscribe. Now, when you guys subscribe, make sure you check the little notification bell. That way you guys are notified whenever I upload something new. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's going to be Mavic underscore hero. And once again, thank you guys for watching my episode for today. Until next week, Mavic Hero Films. Peace.